subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Creating an online compiler for Python with tkinter involves building a graphical user interface, GUI, that allows users to input Python code, execute it, and view the output. We'll use Python's tkinter library for the GUI and execute user code in a secure manner using the exec function. Before starting, make sure you have tkinter installed. Most Python installations come with tkinter by default. Save the above code in a file, example online underscore compiler.py and run it. You will see a simple tkinter window with an input area for Python code an execute code button, and an area for displaying the output. You can customize the GUI further by adding features like syntax highlighting, line numbers, and error handling. Additionally, consider using the subprocess module for a more secure way to execute code, as directly using eval, can be a security risk. Note. Providing an online compiler involves additional considerations for security and user input validation. This example is simplified and should not be used as is for a production grade online compiler. Always ensure the security of user inputs and execute code in a controlled environment. Chat GPT Certainly Below is an informative tutorial that demonstrates how to create a basic Python tkinter online compiler using Flask, an efficient web framework for Python. This tutorial will guide you through the process step by step. Create a new directory for your project. Inside this directory, create the following files. Install Flask using pip if you haven't already. Execute the app.py file. Access the application in your browser at http localhost 5000. You'll see a simple interface where you can write Python code in the provided text area and click the run code button to execute it. The output will be displayed below the button. This is a basic example and might require additional error handling and security measures for a production environment. You can enhance this further by adding syntax highlighting, better UI slash UX, handling larger code snippets, etc., based on your requirements. ChatGPT